Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Notepad++ on your uh, Windows operating system. Notepad++ is a lightweight editor which supports many languages. So you can develop uh, many languages using Notepad++ and uh, the best part is it's an uh, open source editor. So let's see how you can um, install Notepad++. Just open your Google browser or any other browser and just write Notepad++ plus plus and press enter. And the first link is from Notepad++. Plus plus. Just open this link. And once this link is open, you can see here what language it can support and what is Notepad++. Plus plus. And in here on the left hand side, you can see this download section. Just click this download section here. This download tab and it will show different options to install Notepad++ or download Notepad++. One we are looking for is Notepad++ installer. So just click this Notepad++ installer and it will download the executable file for you. It's not a big file, it's just 7.3 MB file. So once this file is downloaded, you just need to open this executable file. I will just click this executable file and it will start the installer. Just press yes and choose your language. It supports many other languages. So for now I'm choosing English and click OK and click next. And if you want to read the document you read and if you agree with this document just click I agree and this is the location where notepad++ will be installed so by default it goes to C program files x86 slash it makes a new folder called notepad++ and press next and press next and if you want to create the shortcut then you can just check this shortcut option and you can say install so it will take a few seconds to install notepad++ it's very fast and now you can see notepad++ is installed in your system and before clicking finish ensure that this run notepad++ is checked so it will launch your notepad++ for the first time and you can see notepad++ is installed and you are ready to work with notepad++ so for creating a new document you just need to go to this new button or go to file and click new and in here if you want to for example if you want to create a CPP file which is a C++ file just right click this um, page or uh, this tab so if that, just right click it here on the tab and just click save as and just choose your location so I will just write here test dot CPP and the location will be default for now so just give the extension of your file if you want cpp file give here cpp file or if you want html file then just change this extension to test.html and it will create html file and press save and you can see this file is created now and you are ready to develop your c++ programs so I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.